We move on to bout number three on an action stack card. It's TFP3, the Continental Collision. And it's three rounds of three minutes. Pro-Am rules in the super lightweight division. Introducing to you first, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner, standing 1.71 meters tall and weighing in at 63.3 kilograms. Making his Pro-Am debut and representing Fighters Incorporated, please welcome Heinrich. Jacobs! And his opponent standing 1.71 meters tall and weighing in at 61.4 kilograms with a record of no wins against two losses. Fighting out of Iron Tiger, please welcome back to Tie FP3. It is Michael Besadenho. Close of the Y Inside crew, we're okay. into bout so number three. Just a little bit of background information of our two fighters. Heinrich Jacobs took this fight on like a week's notice. 23 years old, he was born in Swellendam, and he is a, a personal trainer with experience in boxing, karate, K1, and mixed martial arts. He hasn't had any Muay Thai fights since his debut, but obviously been training hard in the art because, hey, you don't rock up at the party without okay, knowing what him. to do. 100%. He's also, I awesome, mean, he's got K2 experience, boxing, MMA. Um, I've had one of my one of my fighters actually competed against Michael, his opponent, and uh, Michael's very tough. 
very, very tough uh, competitor. This is going to be an interesting fight. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Poseidon note making his return to TFP. Okay. He was a star in our former show and uh, at TFP2, the recruitment. He put on a heck of a performance there. Sure. And uh, from Easter Rafir, Iron Tiger is his gym. Shaheen Price is his trainer. He's a junior software developer by trade. Let's see if he can trade the hardware, though, this time in the ring at TFP3. Nice work by Michael. He's, uh, he's coming out... A lot different to his previous fights that I've watched. Very controlled. Um, I think he's learned from his previous fights to stay a little bit calmer, control the pace. Um, some beautiful work at the moment. Good feints. Really, really has evolved um, since his last two fights. Um, with his records 0 and 2, but those two losses were good losses. He fought well. And I can see a massive improvement in him. A lot more composed. You know, I think it's like. The two losses taught him way more than two victories would have. 100%. And he's sitting here with a bit of a deceptive record now. 100%. Don't be fooled by records. This is a tough sport. It's a measured opening minute in the first round by both fighters. Yeah, Michael, Michael, very intelligently scoring points. You know, keeping it calm, controlling the pace, controlling the rhythm. But he's scoring points. He's being very quick, quick, quick in and out. Being evasive, checking kicks. Really, really good display by Michael. Once again, three rounds, three minutes, not a lot of time to borrow a cricket analogy. You've got to keep the run rate ticking over. You've got to take those singles when they're on offer. Go for the boundaries when the rubbish is there. Yeah, and uh, you know, this This is uh, for uh, Heinrich, this is being his first fight. He's also, he's, he's doing well. I mean, he's, got, he's very composed. He's not rushing in, not trying to knock him out with every single punch. Um, but the two, the, the two fight experience that uh, Michael has, is, you, can, you can see it, it's showing. Poseidon note in the red trunks, up against Jacobs in the blue trunks. This is a nice easy first round, very nice, feeling each other out. Really good first fight from Hanuk. Really, really good first fight. Poseidon note starting to make some moves. Cutting off the ring nicely. If you watch what he's doing, keeping keeping Heinrich, uh, he's back against the ropes. Got nowhere to run. Very important in the sport, controlling the space. Heinrich Jacobs taking the place of Denver Isaacs, who fell out late with an injury to his hip. We wish Denver all the best in road to recovery, and hopefully we'll see him having this fight. It's Michael said note at the next Ty Hollicks Fight Promotions fight card. Yeah, Michael. Really, really controlling pressure, pushing forward nicely, controlling the distance, scoring points effectively. I think Jacobs needs to come out second round and he needs to really push the pace. Jacobs put together a half decent defensive sequence upstairs at the end of that round. Was it enough? Do we have a clear and cut winner of this opening round? I think, uh, I think Michael controlled that round really, really well. Um, that two fights, that two fights experience that he has definitely showing massive improvements from his from his first two fights. I really love that's what I love seeing in the sports is when guys come out and they show evolution. That's what the sport's about. You don't want to see the same guy fighting every time. You want to see him improving, using his using his tools better. You got to use those weapons effectively. It took both fighters a better part of two minutes to really get into this fight before Poseidon decided to get on his bike and start pushing the pressure and catching Jacobs in the corner and unleashing some damaging shots. Regardless of whether they were taken cleanly or caught on the arms, they're all going to hurt in some form or manner. Yeah, and it's, remember, it's a points game. If you're not locking the guy out, they're going to score you on the points. And if you're landing shots, you're scoring points. So you need to eliminate anything landing, check those kicks. Cannot be blocking with your arms, evasion. As they say, try not to get hit. <laughs> Just the kind of fight camp, the measure of experience okay. that Guys, Poseidon note has to pole? call on in, in his gym as sparring partners. Yeah, of course, the both guys yeah, coming up camp. later tonight. Okay. Nido Gomba, okay, he's world renowned, he's been everywhere Fight and done center. it all. And uh, I don't know if they would hey spar together because you'd right think the size would be a they will. difference. Guaranteed they'll spar together. You always want to spar the best in the gym, that's how you get better. If you're not getting beat up, you're not getting better. I'm talking about the tank, Lamin Suya, 
he's a big guy and uh, I'm sure that Poseidon probably doesn't say no to that kind of experience either. You know, in Muay Thai, it's all about technical sparring. You don't try and beat each other up. It's technique, trying to find your rhythm, balance. Jacob's definitely coming out a little bit more urgency, using that jab more effectively. Break. Chop. Of course, Lamin Suya, he's coming up in the main card, the Continental Collision section. Nido Gomba, both fighting German foes on tonight's action at TFP3. Jacobs really, really keeps dropping that hand when that kick comes in, leaving his head wide open. Oh, nicely putting hands and legs together. And you know, Iron Tiger, relatively newest gym in the scene in Cape Town. But man, they got a good thing going and they know what they're doing. 100%. There's, there's some good experience in there. Good trainers, good fighters. And slowly but surely now with, T, with TFP putting on some awesome events. There's so much more experience. Great. Ooh, that was a slip. There's so many more events for the guys to build experience, which is exactly what we need in Muay Thai. We need a lot of events to happen so the guys can get more fight experience. And it's these fight cards are the reason why I can quite safely say and assume the biggest Muay Thai fight card on the continent right now is what you're seeing right here at Thai Holics Fight Promotions. I couldn't agree with you more. Good Hope. kick to the stomach there by Jacobs. Jacob showing much better. Show, coming forward a bit, he needs to control the space. Try to push Michael back. Beautiful, beautiful work. My only cause for concern of Jacobs right now, his jab is more of a flick. It kind of looks like a range finder. Nothing to do any real damage with. No. Very easy to parry and counter, very easy to walk through. The elbow was on offer and the same note went for it and he'll have to settle for a sweep. Bit of a wardrobe failure there. There we go. The stockings come down, but the action is hot and heavy here. Round number two. It looks like Jacob's feeling a lot more comfortable now. He's coming forward a little bit more. Um, but he needs to throw more uh, punches in bunches. He's got to put the legs together with the punches, uh, do more damage, score more points. Very well balanced fighter. He doesn't seem to get himself into positions where he's going to compromise his own ability to stay on his feet. Yeah, and he's, he, he does a lot of stance changing. He switches from south to, to orthodox, which works well in Muay Thai. You know, a lot of guys have a good dominant leg, which they kick with. Um, he transitions nicely between the two. Um, yeah, and you know, sometimes you can use your dominant hand in the front or dominant hand at the back, so it's nice to play with. Stop. End of round number two, a very solid round from Poseidon. I would say probably safely enough to say that he did enough to take that round. That was a close round. Um, you know, when you look at those rounds as well, you look at who's, who's going forward a lot, who's controlling the ring uh, when it's quite an even round. Uh, yeah, I must say, I was watching that round way more as a commentator than I was as a judge. <laughs> There was some, some good fighting, fighting happening there. You know, the accolades that is carried by both fighters into the ring right now. Jacobs, K1 South African Championships, took a silver medal in 2021. Vibrant Sport Cup champion. Of course, that's going to be boxing. Mixed martial arts. So the African champs in 2021, he took fourth place in his weight division. And K1 Orange Belt. So he carries a wealth of fight experience. An all-rounded type of individual. Yeah, the, you know, I think the hardest thing that, that a lot of uh, combat sport athletes trying to adjust to in Muay Thai is the stance. Um, you know, if you come into, the, into Muay Thai with a heavy front foot stance, uh, fighting heavy on that front foot, you're going to get kicked a lot in the leg. Uh, you're not going to be able to check kicks. Um, and that's a big problem. So learning to, to Guys, you know, make that fighter, adaptation please? to your style is probably a number one priority. Uh, well, once you do that, it gets a lot easier. Yeah, of course, Muay Thai, very much more of an open stance because you're not just looking to land those leg kicks but also teeps to the stomach you can't do that from a boxing stance yeah. which okay, is far more side ready. and shoulder on and okay, heavy, on the front the foot. heavy on the front foot you can't lift that leg quick enough fighters, to check um, you're giving gloves, your gloves, hamstring gloves, and your calf you can do yeah. a lot more damage Jump. Jacob's using that side teep very effectively he throws that little switch kick into the side teep, using it very well to keep uh, Jacobs, at, I mean, to keep uh, Vesaino at bay. Bringing out the party tricks in round number three is Jacobs. He knows he might be down. He might be up. Might be a draw. We don't know. When it comes to the last round, you don't know what the judges have scored, especially in a fight like this. So you need to go out there and you need to prove that you, that you want this fight. You can't leave it to the judges. You've got to make sure that you win the last round. 
first catch and sweep. Very nice. Very nice. Jacob's frustrated. You could see he was very annoyed with how he stood there that and took that. That showboating doesn't help because you just got scored against. <laughs> he's fighting angry and, he and he's starting again. to make those mistakes of someone who is fighting angry. He's trying yes. to get that pound of flesh back. You've got to stay calm. You cannot, you cannot let the emotions get the better of you. But hats off to Heinrich Jacobs, stepping up on a week's notice, coming in and putting a performance. He's going for the win. He is trying his best. And he's looking good. The conditioning's good. I mean, his gas tank looks good. He's mixing up his punches and his kicks very, very well. For, for an 0-0 record, he's really, really, really doing well. Been very impressed. Besaidenot is so calm on his offense. He's so in charge and in command of the fight the way that it's going right now, especially in this third and final round. Jacob's using that teeth jab very, very well, throwing that teeth with a jab behind it, landing it regularly. You know, when I coach my guys, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of the teep. You have to use your teep effectively. Very important weapon. We pass the one minute remaining mark here, round number three. This is do or die time. This is where you got to put, put the foot on the gas, push forward, and land those shots. But intelligently, not, you can't go in blindly. You got to, you got to stay calm, stay defensively tight. Does Jacobs have it in him to put on the last big charge? Beautiful, Jacobs coming back very nicely. Finally, a jab that actually stuck the landing. Jacob fighting very well, being very evasive, landing really well. And the crowd are absolutely so Really, it really good fight. No one giving an inch. Standing in front, trading. This is exactly what we want to see. Really good to watch. Ten seconds remain. It's so awesome seeing Pro Am fights at this caliber. Guys building such incredible experience. Beautiful. Jacob said, bring it Beautiful. on. Beautiful. Poseidon obliges. Really, really good fight. A perfect fight that we've seen again. It just keeps coming better and better as we get through the card tonight at TFB3. Really, really good. Short notice. Short notice. So what? Ladies and gentlemen, three rounds of action in the can and we go to the judges scorecards for your winner coming by way of unanimous decision victory. Fighting out of the red corner, Michael Besaidenhoe.
trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. In a place to hide in a 